So you guys are welcome. Uh, my name is Olawel. As some of you was uh, know my name by now. And if you don't know my name, my name is Olawel. So I'm taking you on this journey of a landing page. And you need to understand some of the elements that you need to put together in your landing page. So first of all, what is a landing page? A landing page is a specific web page that users land on after clicking a link, usually from an online advertisement, email campaign, search engine results, or social media promotion. So the primary purpose of a landing page is to guide visitors toward a specific action or conversion goal. Unlike other pages on the website, a landing page is designed with a purpose objective and minimal distraction to increase the likelihood of visitor talking um, visitor taking the desired action so the main purpose of um, a landing page is to help visitors make a specific action it's just for conversion goal right so that your visitor or your prospects they can actually have every detail of the things you have in store for them right so that's the main essence of you having a landing page um sometimes so that they can actually see all your offer because sometimes you cannot put all the uh, things you have to offer your prospects in a advert so but from the landing page you can actually have clear objective of what your um, advert is actually all about so that's specifically uh, the purpose of the landing page right so a landing page is always something like this right so this kind of a landing page um, is actually for you to be able to create accounts so maybe they want to get your email address or something. So that's the main reason why you are having this kind of landing page. There are some other landing pages that you see, but this just like uh, uh, this just like an example of what a landing page looks like. So what are the purpose of a landing page? Which I have mentioned some few purpose there, but let me expand your let me expand your uh, let me expand your knowledge more about what landing page is actually all about so the main essence of landing page is for lead generation when class yesterday i explained what i explained what lead generation is all about so i said lead generation is to get information right is to get information for the exchange is to get a particular uh, it could be that you are giving them a particular uh, what is it called? A particular book, or you are giving them a particular offer in exchange for their information. That's what lead generation is all about, for example. Or we call it lead magnets. So the lead there, I, I explained yesterday that the lead there actually means prospect, right? Someone who is not your customer yet that is yet to be your customer that's what it is so actually all about so lead, that's what we call it lead generation lead generation is prospect generation so one of the purpose of landing page is collecting user information so that's email address like this first landing page here this landing page here is to get email address that's why you are having the email address and they say you should create a free account so the person wants to get 
the email address so that you can actually be selling to um, the, uh, so that you can actually be giving the prospect information or it can sell to the prospect later on. So that's the main reason why the email or uh, is actually collected for the generation. Then I think I like this. Then another thing is for sales. So one of the main reasons for landing pages is that so that we can directly sell our products or services, our services to the visitors. Then another thing is for click through. Click through is so that we can encourage visitors to click through to another page. Also for more information before making a decision. I think I said that earlier. So click through is just to encourage visitors to click through to another page also for more information before they can make their decision. Then another one is for event registration. Getting users to sign up for webinars, events, or conferences. So one of the reasons why we use landing page sometimes is so that we can actually get our prospects or we can get our visitors to sign up for maybe our events, for our webinars, or for our upcoming conferences that are actually coming up. Then another thing why we, we use landing page is for product launch. Building excitement and interest around a new product or service. Right. So these are the purpose. These are the reason why we build landing page. Then if these are all the purpose why we build our landing page, then there's more vital things that is needed. Our copywriting. Right? Our copywriting. The words that are in the landing page. The words that are in the landing page we need to be deliberate about the words, about the pictures, and everything in the landing page. Remember, it's marketing we're doing. So we need to be deliberate about what the readers are actually reading. Right? So it's very, very important for us to be deliberate about this. So, and, and that's the work of our copywriting. Right? So, we say copywriting is the art and science of writing text copy with the goal of persuading, informing, or encouraging a specific action from the reader. Right? So here's an explanation of the basic of copywriting along with tips for crafting compelling headlines, writing effective body text, and creating calls to action. So these are the next tips now. The next slide i'm going to be showing you tips and the necessary things you need to put together in order for you to have a very good landing page oh. somebody said i'm not allowing that to be so please let me So sorry, um, Madam Jayola. I'm sorry about that. So let's move on. All right, please, you can mute. Thank you. So,
All right, so let's continue from. Let's continue. So I said that. So I said copywriting. So I said copywriting is the art and science of writing text copy with the goal of persuading, informing, or encouraging a specific action from the reader. And I said the next slide I'm going to be show I'm going to be showing you guys now is going to actually um, talk more about what you need to incorporate, what do you need to pull together in order for you to have an effective uh, copywriting in your landing page because it's very very important so that you can use it to persuade, inform or encourage your prospects. So I said these are copywriting pages. Number one thing you need to take note of is that you need to understand your audience, right? So before writing, identify your target audience. Understand their needs, their preferences, and their pain points, right? So understand their needs. Uh, the people you, you want to sell to, what are their needs? What are the things that are likely their pain points? So you need to put all these things into uh, together. What are their preferences? So the first thing I would like you to do is you you know your understand your audience. Write it out. Your audience. This is my audience. I want to talk to. What are their pain points? What are the things that will likely appeal to them? Because the, um, because the landing page is not actually for you. It's for you to be able to convert your customers or your prospects, your prospective customers into sales. Right? So it is very necessary for you to understand your audience. So understanding your audience will help you to know the right word to actually use. Then another thing is establish a clear purpose. Define the purpose of your copy. Whether is it to inform, whether is it to persuade or drive a specific action. Clarity is key. What message do you want to pass across? What is the core message you are trying to pass across to your audience? So be clarified, right? With the clarity of these things is going to help you to put the right words on your landing page. So establish a clear purpose. Then the next thing you need to do is create a unique selling proposition. Highlight what sets your product, service, or message apart from others. Why should they buy from you. So put all these things together into your landing page. What makes you uh, different from your prospect? <laughs> what makes you different from your competitors? So put all these things in your copywriting when you are putting them on your landing page. I like what said your product, your services, or message apart from others. Clearly communicate communicate the value you offer then the, um, another thing here is you should maintain consistency ensure a consistent tone and voice throughout your copy this helps in building brand identity and trust then another thing I said here is that be clear and concise your headline should communicate the main idea succinctly. 
right? I avoid unnecessary words. I avoid unnecessary words. Are you getting it? So, avoid unnecessary words. Be clear about how you should uh, approach your audience. Be clear. Be specific. And be brief. Don't just write uh, don't just write plenty, plenty words, plenty, plenty story. No. Eat Eat the nail by the head. I've heard you think of that English. <laughs> so eat the right word at the right time. Then the next thing is create interest. Create interest. Use curiosity, humor, or a provocative statement. Challenge them. Right? Use curiosity, humor, or a provocative statement. To capture the reader's attention and make them want to know more. Right? Or want to know more about it. Right? So then the next thing is I like benefits. I like benefits. I like benefits. I like the benefits. Be clear and concise. Be clear and concise. Okay, sorry. I like benefits. Focus on what the reader will gain or the problem your product or services solves. Make it about them. Focus on what the reader will gain or the problem your product or services solves. Make it about your, 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 your prospects. It's not about you. It's about them. What, will, uh, what they are likely to become. Let's say I am offering a course on on drug shipping right so what are the things that might likely be of benefit to them so i can say something like say goodbye to traditional edicts of stocking inventory handling shipping logistics and managing a warehouse with drug shipping you can run your own business seamlessly, right? You can run your own business seamlessly. So make it about your your um, make it about your prospects, about your prospective customer. It's not really about you. So I like the benefits. Focus on what the reader will gain or the problem your product or service solves. Make it about them. Then use power words. Incompress strong and emotional words that invoke a response. Examples include free, exclusive, guaranteed. Right? Use words like that. That is going to help, that is going to make them take action. Emotional words that is going to invoke a response. So use something like that. Then test different versions. What we are, what we mean by A and B test here? Test A or test B. Test different headlines to see which resonate best with your audience. Use data to inform your choice. Then writing effective body text. Start strong. The first few sentences should draw readers in and provide a clear understanding of what to expect. 
right? I think I'm okay. I'll, I'll give you an example of a copywriting. I'll give you an example of a copywriting at the end of this, so that you can actually have an understanding of what what, what I mean by all this grammar that I've been speaking since morning. So, use start strong. The first few sentences should draw readers in and provide a clear understanding of what to expect. Then the next thing is address the reader's needs. Speak directly to the reader and address their pain point or desire. Right? So speak directly to the user and address their pain point or desire. Then another thing is use clear and simple language. Don't bore them with plenty English. Let your language be clear. Avoid jargon or overlie complex language or writing plenty big grammar. Make your message easily digestible for a wide audience. You don't need uh, plenty English. Just write it in the English that you know that your audience will understand. Don't bore them with plenty, plenty English. Then tell a story. Tell a story. Incorporate storytelling. Storytelling uh, sell more. Right? Storytelling sells more. So you can actually write a story with copywriting. Then, another thing is provide evidence, give testimonials, back up your claims with data, testimonials, case studies, or other form of evidence to give credibility. Sometimes it is very good if you can put in testimonials, you can put in data, you can put in case studies, in order to, if, especially if you are, if it is, you want to use your landing page to to convert sales, it is very necessary for you to always. Uh, it is very necessary for you to always use uh, testimonials, case studies, or other forms of evidence to just build credibility. Then, creating call to action. Call to actions are the are what we want our prospects what we actually want them to do at the end of at the end of the um, copywriting of after reading your copywriting engaging with your pictures in your landing page seeing the people you've actually done one or two things for for with the help of the testimonials with the help of your case studies, it is very important now to tell your prospects what they should do next. Let me check in for that before I stay on this. Okay. So be clear and direct. Your call to action should leave no room for ambiguity. Clearly state what action you want the reader to take. Tell them what you want them to do. Use action verbs. Employ strong words that convey action. For example, buy now, 
subscribe today or get started right so use action words use words that you know that it will help them to take action immediately subscribe today subscribe now get started right buy now use those words right to help your prospect to take action connect the cta to the value of the reader will receive explain why taking action is in their best interest explain why they should take action explain it right so connect your cta with the value to the value the reader will receive so if you are taking action now if you are taking action now these are the things you stand to gain right make your offer juicy if you are going to, if you if you are buying this i think we've talked i've taught you all these things when we were doing psychology of buying right so if you are taking action now these are the things you stand to gain you, are, you stand to gain this 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 this, this that, and this incorporate all these things into your landing page right connect the cta to the value the reader will receive explain why taking action is in their best interest then create a sense of urgency encourage immediate action by incorporating words like limited time exclusive offer or act now optimize for placement ensure your cta is prominently displayed and easily noticeable make sure that your call to action is easily noticeable they can notice it if you are putting the buy now let the buy now be big even if it's possible um add a plugin in your to your buy now let it be dangling up and down let it be uh, let it be showing let it be projecting like a light in their face right so that they can actually do take action immediately so All right, so I want to give you an example of a drop. I didn't plan this, but let me pull all this together. Let me give you an example of a land of a write-up I'm trying to write for a particular landing page. that you can have a clearer view of what I mean, what I've been talking about, right? Okay. Okay, so I put here start your drop shipping journey today. And this is the body that I tend to put on it. 
Welcome to the game changing world of dropshipping where the future of retail is at your fingertips. Are you ready to turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality without the azure of inventory management or empty upfront cost? Why dropshipping? Right? Say goodbye to traditional headaches of stocking inventory, only shipping logistics, and managing a warehouse. With dropshipping, you can run your own business seamlessly. Here's why dropshipping is the smart choice. So, I actually want to... Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Okay. So here are the examples. So number one, I said for zero inventory houses, no need to invest in bulk inventory. I'm giving my prospects reason why they should consider doing drop shipping. No need to invest in bulk inventory with drop. With drop shipping, your suppliers and do storage and shipping, leaving you with more time and less stress. Then I said number two reason is for worldwide reach. Your store is not confined by borders. Tap into a global market, reaching customers from every corner of the world without the need of for inter international warehousing. Low financial risk. Starting your business without breaking the bank. With no inventory cost and low startup expenses, dropshipping allows you to focus your resources on growing your brand. Easy scalability. As your business grows, so does your potential share for profit. Scale effortless, uh, effortlessly by adding new products or expanding your market without the constraint of traditional retail. Then I come here, I say flexibility and freedom. Be your own boss. Run your business from anywhere. Set your own hours. Enjoy the freedom to build your empire on your terms. Join the dropshipping revolution. Ready to embark on your journey to financial freedom and flexibility? Right? Start your dropshipping business today and unlock the potential to build a thriving online empire without the traditional azures of retail. So I'm giving my prospect reason why they should consider drop shipping business so if i put all these things together into my landing page and i add a call to action and i said i'm selling a course where i'm going to be teaching them drop shipping and i put all these things i put them together in my landing page and i said i'm going to be sell sending uh, selling a course where i'll be teaching them drop shipping where to get the product from how to market the product and how to get um, customers that are actually interested. I see. So I gave my prospects reasons why they should consider this drop shipping business. Why they should consider me to teach them this drop shipping business. So do you see that? I'm not saying it based on what me I have to offer and what me I have to gain. I'm giving them what they stand to gain if they consider learning this dropshipping business. Are they getting it now? Then let's say I'm selling the course. The, normally the course is supposed to go for um, 10,000 era. But if they are getting the course in 24 hours time, right? Or they are enrolling for the course in 24 hours time. They can get it for as low as 3,000 naira. You see, I gave my prospects reason why they should take action to join considering this my course. So you need to put all these things together in your landing page so that you can convert your prospects into sales. I get it. So that is why I am going through this route to teach you all these things.
so that you can actually have so that you can actually um so that you can actually convert your prospects on your landing page now in our next class now i'll be teaching you how to build a landing page a good landing page what are the things you need to put in your landing page the site